Hi, I'm Greg, Greg from Midwest Technical, and I have Richard behind the camera. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the picker rails uh, for an I-40 quantum library or an I-80. The procedure is the same for both. First thing you want to do is identify if you have a bad uh, picker rail. And you do that by taking a flashlight and looking with the flashlight above it and looking for any broken off gears here, gear teeth. This one is a good one, but you'll be able to quite easily see if you have a bad one or not. And you can check all four of them in the same manner, just by holding the light up and looking down it. If you do find that you have a bad one, this is a procedure uh, to remove it and replace it. First of all, you may have to take the magazines out. There's a little lever right here. This one is a double one for the side with the mail slots. Hold it until you get halfway out, and then you can just completely remove it. And the one on the other side is done the same way. Once you have the magazines out, the next thing you want to do is take off the plastic front cover of the, uh, of the library. There's two screws on the top that hold it and two screws on the bottom. And we'll take out number one and number two. Now on this library, I've already taken out the ones on the bottom. And they're just located one and two, and then the cover comes off. Next, if this particular rail is bad, there's three screws that hold it in from the front here. One, two, and three. And this little wire harness assembly sort of gets in the way a little bit, but to pull it out, you just pull the, wire, uh, the screws out. Here's one, here's two, and here is three. Then you just slide the rail toward the middle on these two pegs, and it comes out of the slot, and you have it out. These rails are in pairs. The one in the front and the one in the back are identical, and on the other side, the one in the back and the one in the front are identical. Side to side, they're not the same. They're mirror images. Now, if you have to replace this one, the one thing that I've noticed is this little board right here, this little PC board, can get in the way. So if you have to replace this one, it's these three screws again, same way, but just take, with a Phillips screwdriver, remove these two screws here, just to get it out of the way. And all you have to do is just move it over it like that. You don't have to disconnect anything. Remove the screws, that'll come right out. The ones on the back are done slightly differently. We use a ratchet with a number eight torque screw, which is the same thing as the tool that I use in the front, which was a number eight. And the three screws are here, here, and here. They're really accessible. There is holes in the side to go through if you had a long torque screws, um, or a screwdriver. They're, they're hard to come by. Uh, we always just use this. Uh, loosen them up, one, two, three. Slide it toward the back, it'll lift right out. Same thing with the one on the other side. It'll be one, two, three. Slide it this way and it comes out. When it comes time to reinstall them, just reverse the process that I just explained. Uh, put the front cover back on again. Be sure that you have that little module installed and uh, slide the magazines in. Install the picker as per our instructions on the YouTube channel and away you go. Uh, thanks for watching the video.